Triple-A baseball for you now on the show as we present coverage from the International League. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Charlotte Knights and the Norfolk Tides. Standing in, Nick Madrigal. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1-2. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Hard sinker misses two and two. Hit on the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Into the box now. Gorky's Hernandez is coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting third. The designated hitter. Standing in now. Daniel Polka. Back up the middle. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. That is four. The first base. Stepping in now, A.J. Reed. Slider finds the zone for a strike. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. So he wraps up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. A.J. Reed is the second out of the opening frame. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Slap hard the opposite way. Stewart is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Now at the plate, Richie Martin. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Runs up and gets this one down. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Stepping in, Mason Williams. First shot for him here. Two hits and five trips a night ago. The 3-1. Bounce to first. Reed scoops it up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Coming to the plate now. DJ Stewart. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. Here's the one and one pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now. And blew that fastball right by him. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Batting four. The designated hitter. In now, Pat Valaika. Two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Cuthbert fields it cleanly. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Settling in now, Joel Booker. Hit hard on the ground to short. And he'll have himself a leadoff single as this is through into left. Batting cut. The right fielder. Blake. At the plate now, Blake Rutherford. 
And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. 3 2 count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. And this will be fouled away. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. Run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Batting it. The captain, Yerman. At the plate, Yerman Mercedes. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. left side and there's a base hit as that gets through into left the throw to the plate and he is in there at the plate it's now a two nothing game into the box Laz Rivera ball two as the breaking ball misses inside things just aren't going his way right now and I think a lot of it has to do with his curveball He's just not locating that pitch very well. And when that's the case, guys just start sitting on the hard stuff. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Popped up. Mountcastle over to his right. Makes the play, one away. Stepping into the box, Nick Madrigal. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Hit out towards second. He's got it to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Last half of the second set to go. Digging in the switch hitter, Stevie Wilkerson. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Popped him up. Cuthbert moving to his left. Makes the play, one away. Now in the box, Cedric good. Mullins. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Here now the 2-2. Pulled toward right center field. Hernandez is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Into the box, Ryan Mountcastle. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway. Striding in, Gorky's Hernandez. He singled his last time up. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. So here's now Daniel that. Ponka now. Daniel. One out, nobody on. Found 
bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And it's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now batting the first baseman, AJ Reed. To the plate now, AJ Reed. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. And oh, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now batter. Here now first is Chesler Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Hit it hard, but Cuthbert. lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. And this is going to get down for extra bases, as that'll get one, if not both of them home. He pulls into second safely, as a run will score on the play as well. The left fielder, number one, Joel Booker. Into the box now, Joel Booker. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Now batting. Blake Rutherford. Stepping up now, Blake, Blake Rutherford. An RBI Rutherford. double is what he was credited with his first time around. One and one. Here it is. Outside, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And that's the first down. Digging in, Willie Yon is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The 2-2. Gets him looking, strike three. Digging in, Richie Martin. Now batting, good stop, Richie Martin. The 1-2. And he popped him up. Madrigal has got it, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. So striding forward now, Yerman Mercedes looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Hit hard down the line. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And now pitch on the way. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. The batter, number five. Standing in now, Laz Rivera. Ripped down the line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, the pitch grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the stretch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Isaac Matson answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Nick Madrigal will be his first assignment down to the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Fouled away. He's set and the one two pitch. Runner at second here with one man out. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away.
high in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring in the speedy Gorky's Hernandez. Hernandez. Full count, here it comes. This one's flared off to the right side, and that's going to fall for a base hit. He's in at second safely, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. The designated hitter, Daniel Polka. Stepping in now, Daniel Polka. 3 1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3 and 2. Hernandez stands at second with two gone. A bouncer up the middle. The throw and he's tagged out at second. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. Blake now Mason Williams and a changeup swung on and missed for the first out striding into the box DJ Stewart one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up and that's been their only hit so far in this one they've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon the designated hitter number four in now, Valaika. Hot shot to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And he is in there. Into the box now, Stevie Wilkerson. He flew out in his last at bat. First and second now, one man out. To short, hit hard. He's right there. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, A.J. Reed. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the 3-1. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. The batter. Ready the once again, Chesler Cuthbert. Cuthbert. A hit in two tries for him so far. The one two. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Scooped up to second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Now batting. Now batting. Joel Booker. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now On to first, not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Rutherford. Popped him up. Jan is under it. And that ends the inning. Ready now, Cedric Mullins, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. No. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Full count, three, uh, full balls, count, two three balls and two strikes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. 
the first baseman digging in for his second at bat Ryan Mountcastle he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far oh and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two a swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with now batting so bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the catcher chance Cisco and he missed with it here so now it's a full count three and two Willie Yan would be next big swing but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound throw in time and the side is retired set for the start of the inning so stepping in Yerman Mercedes two hits in two trips for him thus far count remains full once again a 3 2 Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. The batter, number five. Digging in to try it again, Laz Rivera. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Hot shot on the ground is short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Now batter, the second baseman, Nick. Madrigal. At the plate, Nick Madrigal. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fly ball out to right field. Stewart is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the fly out. The center fielder. Coming to the plate now, Gorky's Hernandez. And they're runners at the corners now. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Now the 2 1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Fielded cleanly to second for one. And he's in there safely as a run will score on the play as well. On to first, but not in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Willie Yan comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 1 home. Ball. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Popped him up. Reed has room in foul territory. One away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Richie Martin. He's hitless in the game. Much of the rest of his team. Here's the one and one delivery. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. In now, Mason Williams. Now he's hitless in his two at bats so far. Mason. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now batting. At the plate, Number DJ 24. Stewart. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Here now the two two. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Williams isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He'll score easily. And they're on the board. It's six to one. 
the designated hitter, number four. So now to the plate, Pat Valaika. A ball on two strikes. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. The count now at two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Hunter Harvey is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. Hunter. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, A.J. Reed. It was a walk in his last trip. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Ball. Full count. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Now that so striding in, Chesler Cuthbert. Kepler. Kepler. A 1 1. It's a fastball no, that misses. Bases are empty, one man out. Count even at two and two. Full that count now, cool. three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Another full count pitch home. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And there's out number two. Standing in, Joel Booker. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And the pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Williams is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. And Alberto Mejia gets the call from now the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Alberto. Bottom of the inning now. Digging in once again, Stevie Wilkerson. He's flied out and hit into a double play in two at-bats. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first half. Number 31. Fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. Popped him up. Mercedes over to his left. Two gone. Digging in, number Ryan Mountcastle. No hits to this point. Mountcastle. Now the one and one pitch. No. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. 
Bouncer to the left side. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Now batting. Catcher. Standing in now, Chance Cisco. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Two balls and two strikes, the count to Chance Cisco. He's set, here's the two two. Grounded to the right. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at all to make a play here, so despite the effort, the inning will continue. The third baseman, Willie. Into the box, yeah. Willie Yon. Now this pitch is lined into left center field. That's a base hit. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run the comes across to score. Good stop, Ricky Martin. Into the box now, Richie Martin. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Takes this the other way to right. But he will close fast out there in right field as he comes on to put it away, and the inning is over. Brandon Klein has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52. Ready for another shot now. Blake Rutherford. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 1 home. Misses off the plate. Klein, a 27 year old, he was taken in the second round during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy hasn't turned out the way everyone expected, but he's still young. I don't think you can give up on a guy that has a tool set like this. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. So now coming back. to the plate, Yerman Mercedes. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. His pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Yerman Mercedes is sent packing for the second out of the inning. 3-2 pitch. Liner towards second. But well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Zach Birdie is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 62. Zach. Now at the plate, Mason Williams. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Booker arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Trying to pick now things back. up where he left Number off. Four. DJ Stewart hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. The one two. Line drive to left. Booker is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The Next will be the cleanup hitter, Pat Valaika. Line towards center field. And that'll make him one for four in this one. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Now batter. The second baseman. Stevie. To the plate now. Stevie Wilkerson. Hit down the line at first. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The batter. Number 31. At the plate, Cedric Mullins. Heading out towards shallow right. Rutherford is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble.
Miguel Castro enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So the lineup flips over and digging in Nick Madrigal struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Here now the 2 2. Gorky's Hernandez is on deck. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The next 3 2. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now at the plate, Gorky's Hernandez. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. Two and two. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Soft rounder left side. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Striding forward now is the DH, Daniel Polka. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Carson Fulmer will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 51. Striding in to start the ninth, Ryan Mountcastle. And they'll need him to get something going here. Now the 2 1. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. High pop-up. Cuthbert has a play. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Chance Cisco. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one two. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. The third baseman. Now the one and one pitch. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. This is on the ground over to first. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. The Charlotte Knights took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Dane Dunning earns his first win of the season. Ty Block couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.
Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Knights. Six runs, 11 hits. Two errors. They left eight men on base. For the Tigers, two runs on eight hits. One error. They left eight runners on base.